but in African history in particular that we is always repeated in the history of Islam concerning Islam being a part of the history of Africa so due to this then for myself I kind of took the, uh, I took the responsibility upon myself to understand or to hear more about Islam because certain names keep re uh, repeating the word Islam and also Muhammad so I want to know exactly what was you know, exactly these two things, Muhammad and Islam. Free information on Islam. Discover the truth about Islam and all the prophets. Moses, Muhammad, Jesus, Noah. Hussein was raised Islam. as a Roman Catholic and turned to Islam when his cousin converted. When I read the Bible, I found that actually uh, there was a lot of similarities between Islam and Christianity. And when I actually started analysing the way of life of my cousin and the Bible, I realised that my cousin was practising uh, a lot of the stuff that's in the Bible and my mum, who was a, uh, who was a Christian, has left a lot of, of stuff. So basically I used to look at my cousin and I used to see that he used to fall down in his face and pray and in the prophets, all of the prophets, they used to fall down on their face and pray. Also he used to grow his beard, he dressed like the prophets, Mary dressed like um, the Muslim women, they dressed like how Mary dressed. Eventually then I went to apply to uh, Saudi Arabia in uh, Medina, the city of Medina. They have a university there that. Uh, my family, uh, they were understandable. They understand that uh, or they gave support that if this is a uh, decision that I have chosen, and I believe this is right for myself, then they, uh, they had no objections. And to date, no objections. Abdul Haq has written a book on early Christianity. When we start to assess this, some of the historical basis of uh, the, the uh, of early Christianity, we can see some very um, profound comparisons between um, how the early followers of Jesus uh, practiced uh, their faith and also Muslims today. There are obviously some you know concepts in uh, contemporary Christianity and the established sort of doctrines now, which are you could say are, do um, owe more to Roman um, mythology and paganism as opposed to you know whether were these really the actual teachings of, uh, of, 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 of the uh, prophets the, pro the prophets from the, the children of Israel for example were these their teachings we can f we find that um, that when we actually look into it deeper they were not actually the teachings of the prophets obviously we believe Jesus in Jesus we Muslims we love Jesus and we respect Jesus and he's one of the uh, uh, mighty uh, uh, messengers and prophets of God Jesus says allegedly, um, I was only sent for the lost sheep of the tribe of Israel. Now, for Muslims, that would be something which we would uh, hold to be one of the of the authentic actual actual statements of Jesus. I didn't actually know as a Christian what I was basically supposed to believe that Jesus was God, because if I was supposed to believe that Jesus was God, it wouldn't have made sense to me. Because who was he praying to, and um, how come he didn't know the day of judgment? And he ate and he slept and um, he prayed for help. How can God, you know, pray to someone for help? The Quran uh, teaches um, uh, tolerance with regards to um, people, the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians. And the Quran mentions that if God did not use one set of people to check another set of people, we would find that the monasteries would be destroyed, and the churches, and the synagogues, and the mosques. Some of the oldest churches, uh, Christian churches, are actually in currently Muslim countries today. So I think the Muslims have always. Uh, had a degree of tolerance, especially when they're enter, entering in uh, non-Muslim countries. And that's due to the basis from the Qur'an. There's no God worthy in worship by right, except the creator of the sun, the moon, the stars, the skies and everything else. So there's many uh, so-called gods that exist in the world, but the only thing that's worthy of worship is not Jesus, peace be upon him, is not Buddha, is not a stone, is not an idol. Why? Because all these things are dependent on the creator. So uh, as a part of our belief, we believe in the unseen. And of the greatest of the unseen is belief in Allah. We do believe in Allah in the names that he has given to himself, which is laid down in the Quran or in the teaching of the Prophet. So we accept these names and also certain description that Allah in these texts might outline uh, certain description that he might possess. But yet we understand these uh, description not in the way that we might compare them with other human descriptions or animal description. But we look at them in a way which is a befitting to Allah that does not resemble anything that is known in creation as Allah is separate from his creation.
Muslims believe that when God created humans to worship him, he also created the jinn. Ramadan this year coincides with Halloween, when the Western world gets interested in the realm of spirits. There are many references to the jinn in the Quran. They're created from fire. The jinn that they are created from fire, and sometimes they do, can take the shame off, the shape and form of human beings and uh, certain animals. I don't see them, they're everywhere. We believe the jinn inhabit this earth as we inhabit the earth. Um, and we believe there's more jinn than there are humans. It does something uh, function somewhat like man, but uh, as we said, it is of the unseen. And they have their own way of how they function. Sometimes they do interfere with uh, human beings. But to me, it's the same as the angels. We don't see the angels, yet we'll believe in the angels. And even Christians will believe in the angels. So how hard is it to believe that there's another being that exists? So this issue of possession, when, when people say that, oh, we've seen a witch or somebody is possessed, you know, and this happens in uh, lots of different cultures and people from lots of different religions.